In this tutorial we're going to build the ulna radius for the Mulkor character. At the moment we don't have something that helps us control the volume very well. We can start by dragging the advanced rig model into our 3D workspace and focusing in on the arms. You'll notice if I select the character's uh, ulna radius object, if I press um, enter, you'll notice it's left ulna radii bone. I don't really get a nicely distributed twist volumetrically along the length of the arm. The whole idea of this bone, of course, is to rotate in the x-axis only. So when I have such poor volume control, my rig, of course, suffers. In order to solve this problem, I'm going to actually distribute the twist along multiple objects placed at varying distances along the forearm bone. You'll notice if you twist your arm, your arm twists a little bit differently depending on where you look along the forearm bone's length. You get more or less a one-to-one -one transition through the first, let's say, quarter of the length of the forearm, and from about 25% on, the effect of the wrist twisting diminishes quite severely all the way up until the elbow. It actually continues a little bit further and terminates at the bicep. By the time we reach the bicep, the effect of twisting the wrist will influence the rotation of skin around the bicep region very minimally, perhaps 1% of the rotations applied to this wrist. So to begin this effect, we're going to need to access our character and remove some existing deformers in order to get in there and apply new ones.